Hello, Nomads Cult, and this video is about soft round edges, corners for primitive shapes. So, without using a brush tool. Okay, so something here like this. So, oops, not the UV, the wireframe. So, you see here uh, the clean topology and yeah. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. I delete this everything here in the scene. So the primitives are here, um, uh, the plus menu here. Um, here you can add primitives. So when you um, add here, for example, a box, you see here when the wireframe is on, here is the topology, uh, you see it here. And here in this um, three dots submenu, you find here the post subdivision and linear subdivision options. So, and here it's also possible to change the, the divisions of the mesh grid here. So when you reduce or decrease the, the mesh, And now use post subdivision. So it's a, a game between linear subdivision and post subdivision. So post subdivision rounds the edges. And the linear subdivision keeps it sharp and post subdivision creates a soft round edge. So like this here. So you can control it. The lower the division here is, the rounder the shape becomes. So, and this works for all primitives. So let's um, create another example. So I add um, a cylinder here. Okay, so here it's possible to change the, the X divisions. And now add a post subdivision. So you see here the cylinder becomes round. So like this, post subdivision. And then you get something here like this. So the next shape here is um, maybe a torus. So I change the X division maybe to five. And it's also possible to change the Y division. So now when you use here the linear subdivision once and now the post subdivision like this. So more linear subdivision and one post subdivision. So and also here change the um, X division or the Y division. So now you get a soft round shape here, like this. Okay, and it's also possible, for example, with a tube tool. Where is my tube? Here's my tube. So I draw here a tube shape. OK, 
okay so maybe something here like this and then I use here a profile for this um, and it's possible to change this profile maybe to something like this and then change the X division so here like this and the Y division. So now it's possible to use the linear subdivision one time and now it becomes round. So let's go a step back, linear subdivision and smooth the whole thing. So you see here now your shape becomes smooth and round and yeah so you can validate this maybe use the mask and close the holes so and smooth it a little bit in the inside this and clear so you get something like this here okay and the last example um, maybe let's add a, a lace object no oh, no tri is, um, is interesting so use solo mode and reset it to the center and oops so I clear the mask and now I show the wireframe oh connected so here you see the tri planner um, so the divisions here so change the divisions so the smoothness slider here to zero and then it's possible to to paint the mask here sorry need a smaller brush So, so maybe such a cross so now when I um, validate this object or maybe we can use here here's, here you find no post subdivision settings here so then you have to validate the object here validate and here in the in the topology menu you find here the multi resolution settings here and here's also the, the linear subdivision and the um, normal subdivision so here you can subdivide the mesh so then you get something here like this or use linear subdivision, subdivided, linear off, subdivided again. So like this here. Okay, so I hope you get it um, for this. And so no brush tool 
is needed for such things here uh, for round edges so with uh, primitives okay that's it have fun with sculpting ciao